Black Beach details Janse van Rensburg's two hellish years of imprisonment and torture. The book tells his remarkable story of survival, made possible by his unwavering faith and the humanity of fellow inmates. Once you're inside there, that you've got to stand together. Uh, a lot of them shared their food with me and so on. Um, when I was sick, managed to get some tablets to me. Some, I think uh, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have been here today. Um, so this book is also a dedication to them because they don't have a voice. And um, I think um, this will shine a little, uh, hopefully a lot of light. What is happening there, happened there and still happening today. While his two years of imprisonment was a traumatic experience for both him and his family, reliving and writing down his memories was also painful. It has however helped him in his healing process. I'm very grateful and I'm very proud that my dad actually <laughs> did the effort to relive this ordeal. It wasn't easy. Um, I know it was very traumatic for him to recall the memories and I haven't built up the courage to read the book yet. Um, I did read two paragraphs that had my name in it and it brought me to tears. So um, I will build up the courage to read it eventually. Last year, the Western Cape High Court found Equatorial Guinea's Vice President, Teodoro Nguema Obiang, directly responsible for his wrongful arrest and torture. He was ordered to pay Janse van Rensburg more than 39 million rand in damages. Obiang's appeal process is however still ongoing. Tanya Krause, SABC News, George in the Western Cape.